Hey, what's up coach? This is Ben Neighbors. You're about to watch an interview that I have with one of my students inside of my accelerator program. This coach signed up for my four week one-on-one -on -one coaching program. He's gonna talk about his experience, how it's worked, how it's helped him, the sort of changes that he's made in his business. So let's get straight to it. And if you wanna apply for my program, go right below this video and get in touch with me there. See you later. So um, my name is Abita Chisawan and I'm the owner and head coach of Miami Hustle Basketball. And we are a local travel team slash skills academy um, slash personal training um, business for basketball. And um, yeah, our goal is just to help kids with the fundamentals and get them better to the point that they could play higher levels of, um, of basketball. And we're located in uh, Kendall, Kendall, Florida. Yeah. Got it. Very cool. Awesome. And up to this point, how long have you been in business? I think we hit a year and a half. It's been like a year and a half. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. So you've been in business for a year and a half. And one of the things I know, we, we talked about this yesterday when we spoke, but um, you've been doing a lot of your stuff outside, right? In Florida. Yes. And yeah. I know you just got um, set up with a gym recently, right? Yeah. So try to try to explain to people that are watching this, like how how big of a difference that's going to be for you and your business coming up having the indoor space. Oh, it's it's a huge difference, especially being down here. Um, May is usually when our rainy season um starts. Mm -hmm. So just the convenience of not having to cancel practice and having somewhere where like. Unless there's a hurricane, we're having practice is like, <laughs> right. like especially for the parents because it's it's consistent. Like, and parents don't really like change. Yep, yep. As long as yep. we're consistent in the routine, it's it's good. So, very cool. Okay, awesome, man. So, tell me, uh, before you started working with me, like, what were some of the, I guess, issues you you were having within the business that you you needed help with? Um, one of the biggest things was like organization in terms of like systems and collecting payment and like having like I guess fail safe so like if this situation were to occur like what do you do mm -hmm. or what's the response how do you handle that um the other the other big thing for me was just like organization in terms of like goal setting and having a direction and like mm -hmm. how to set the goal and then like what are you going to do to get to that point so yeah. those are the biggest things for me. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go, we'll start with the systems first. Um, I know one of the things that we, we've been working on is like getting clients committed, like having a process right when they sign up, it's like, we have this set up right after they sign up, we have this set up. Um, and, and I remember too, one of the things we looked at was your website, right? So it was like set up to where like, people could contact you, but now we have kind of like the, the application funnel set up. So try to, try to explain so people can try to understand this from your point of view, uh, specifically with your website, like walk people through the process of what happens if a parent gets to your website, like what does the parent do? And then what do you do? Okay. So like if a parent searches up, you know, basketball academies in Miami, Florida or near me, um, we're usually one of the first ones to like pop up. So then they'll click there. And then we have like the welcome page, which is essentially like um it gives like a breakdown about who we are, what we do as a company. And then the parents can go ahead and like click through, like we have a tab for like available programs, and they can see all the different things that we offer. But then the the biggest thing is if they're interested and they want to get more information or like how to get started or how to sign up. They go through and they click. We have a we have an application button yeah. or apply here. They click there and then they fill out a, a contact form. And then within 24 hours, I, I contact them or I send them a message to set up a call. Um, and that's and then after that I set up the call and then I give them a breakdown about all the different programs that we do and, and the whole setup. And that's been really big because then like it's better than having everything already set up there because if not, what happens is a website does the sale yeah. for you. Yeah. When it's the other way around and there's someone that you can actually talk to, 
like it makes you more i guess like real yeah and more personable so then the parents are more willing to to sign up right right yeah. also too like because i know we've been working kind of like on the higher ticket one-on-one offer the you're gonna mm -hmm. be offering it's harder to sell that if someone just gets to your website and see they see the price because like in their mind they're already gonna have objections questions it's like sticker shock right yeah. um because they're not used to that but a lot of coaches they they run their business that way where it's like it's just website and then if a parent's interested maybe they text the coach and then the coach texts them the price like there's no real actual interaction between you and the parent uh, or between coaches and the parents so um so i guess try to explain when like now the way it's set up mm -hmm. when you talk with a parent how much more confident do you feel now like when you when you actually talk to someone to lead them through your process for them to become a, a customer or a client i feel like a lot more confident because i already have like a set plan it's just mm -hmm. rinse and repeat it like i've already done it and then it's also easier for the parents mm -hmm. to follow along because our process is so like concrete and concise like it's not like i'm not like scattered around explaining a bunch of different things so it's just yeah. easier to digest for the parents as well mm -hmm. from, yeah from a psychological standpoint it makes it easier to like want to sign up right yeah. And the cool thing that you have with your business that I know more coaches are starting to do this with, within basketball is they have their like personal training business or group business, and then they're trying to get into like teams. And so you had teams already set up right mm -hmm. before um, you set up the individual business. And I guess explain now, like if you talk, let's say you're running a Facebook ad or Instagram ad and, and a parent comes in. Talk about like how how much easier is it going to be for you to turn them into a customer in some capacity? Because like you have multiple options now, based off yeah. of of what you offer. Um, it's way easier now, especially too, because we're going to be offering um, like skills clinics. Mm -hmm. So there really is an option available for everyone, and if mm. there isn't an option for you, it's probably because like this just isn't free. This isn't the right time for you to mm -hmm. be looking into like basketball training or anything like that mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. it's it it makes it a lot easier because you, you can cater to multiple audiences at one time mm -hmm. yep yep mm -hmm. yeah and what that does too is it allows you to market harder because you know that when someone gets to a call with you there's going to be something as long as they're committed and they they actually want your service or they want training mm -hmm. you will have an option um for them which is huge uh okay cool and I'm gonna. It's gonna sound like I'm gonna put you on the spot, and and I am. Uh, <laughs> but what's if you had to boil it down to like the number one thing? Because like obviously you invested into into my program, and like you have access to the course and the other coaches mm -hmm. in the program, and we work together for for four weeks one on one. But what's like the the single biggest change that you feel like you you've taken away since we've started working together, like up until now? Like the biggest change that I made before I started with, okay, so yeah, definitely the way I onboard, um, mm -hmm. people because before like you, I just kind of had it like set up where I had all of our packages, like on display, and then I didn't really have like a, I guess a concrete way of onboarding people into like any of our programs. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what was happening too is that like the sale was being done before I could even get into contact with the parent. So like mm -hmm. that for me has been the the biggest change and I've seen a difference. Like I'm able to call the parent right away and talk to them and then like guess but build a better connection with them and then I'm able to make the sale. So like my success rate has gone higher, my conversion rate, I guess, mm -hmm. because of that simple change. And it really was just that. Mm, little exactly. tweak. yeah it was just a little yeah tweak. yeah so, yeah we didn't have to make a monumental change it was just making a little tweak um in that regard okay cool and uh with your business if you if you had to try to 
to break down to coaches that that watch this like mm -hmm. what is your if you had to try to to distill it like what is your perfect type of customer perfect type of client and what i mean by that is like think of the parent and the player like what what sort of qualities are you looking for with the, the the kids that join your program or the parents that end up investing in your program okay um well one like uh timeliness so like parents were on time and because like one thing is like the kids that consistently show up late the majority of the kids i deal with other than my like juniors and seniors none of them can drive so yeah. like that's like the biggest thing and then usually you know you end up not punishing the kid but you have a problem with the kid because they're getting there late but it's not really the kid's fault yeah yeah parents fault um the other biggest thing for me is like the kid's attitude and his like his coachability because mm -hmm. if, if every time i'm talking to you like you're gonna catch an attitude with me or you or you're taking it as a personal attack like i can't really help you that way because you're not willing to be helped you have to help me help you yeah yeah so that's that's probably one of the that's the biggest thing for me how mm -hmm. coachable you are because everything else i can you know i can deal with but if you're not coachable then there's really no point in you even being here right yeah 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 if someone doesn't want to be helped there's yeah. no point for anything yeah um exactly. got it got it okay cool and what would you tell a, a coach that is watching this um because again like after we had our initial call uh, i believe you signed up for our program pretty quickly um mm -hmm. and you didn't like dilly dally and go back and forth for six months thinking about it like you just <laughs> you you took action and and the coaches that get the best results with me that i've seen over the last seven years are the ones who are they're ready. They recognize they need help. They're coachable and they're, they're willing to make changes like, like yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And what would you say to someone who's watching this that is like considering working with me or, or wanting to grow their business and, and actually get help and get mentored? What, what would you say to that person? The, the biggest thing is like, for me is, um, and I heard this the other day on a, on a podcast, um, nothing changes and nothing changes. So like, it can change is scary, especially mm -hmm. if you've been at it for like a year and you have your own like predisposed way of thinking mm -hmm. about certain stuff. If you're not open minded, but you want this certain outcome and what you're doing isn't working, mm -hmm. like you're not going to get there because you're not willing to adapt. Mm -hmm. And that's that for me has been like the biggest thing. You can't control everything. Mm -hmm. You can control how you respond. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to adapt and be willing to have an open mind with like new information and, and methods and things like that that are coming your way. Mm -hmm. That's that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Yeah. And I'll tell you this story. And I, I've said it before on my YouTube channel, but the first ever like business coach that I ever invested into, I remember like I got I I got a credit card to to make the investment. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot. I mean, this is like 2011, so a long time ago. Uh, and I remember the, I made the like when I when I got the credit card, I was like, I, I made the decision mentally. I was like, I don't care what this person tells me. Like, I'm gonna do what they say. And like, I remember I saw an immediate change, not just with my business, but how I thought about myself and how i how i thought about kind of the future and that's kind of been my goal with coaches is especially now it's like the the changes that we made i want those to be permanent changes and then you can just continue to build off of those things in the future um and, and i guess the last question i have man uh because there are a lot of coaches that watch these types of videos and um they're either kind of just starting or maybe they're like, they've been thinking about starting and they, they haven't started their business yet. Um, what's like one, one piece of advice you would give to someone who's maybe they're working a nine to five job and they're, they're wanting to get into basketball training or they're, they're wanting to be a trainer and they just haven't taken that step yet. Like, I'm curious, like what, what would you tell that person? 
Okay. So my answer might be a little long, but That's I, fine. yeah, I started my business as I started my teaching career. So like I did both things at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, and the biggest thing is just like, take the jump, mm -hmm. just take the jump because like, you never know like what can come of you taking that jump. Mm -hmm. And if you're too scared to act, like it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And, and the other thing, like the results aren't going to come instantly. Right. This is a grind. Like this isn't like. Yeah, you know, you start one day and okay, you know, it's all good, whatever. No, no, no. like, it's a grind, and if you stay consistent, you will see the results. Like, mm -hmm. it'll the results will come. You just have to, like, think about it like this: like, one percent better every day, one foot out of one foot in front mm -hmm. of the other, and don't try to conquer the whole mountain with the first step. That that mm -hmm. would be the biggest thing. There's mm -hmm. a there's a lot you can. There's a lot of things you can do, mm -hmm. in this business. And like it's very easy to drown. Mm -hmm. Just pick one thing, work on that one thing, and the rest will, the rest will yeah. fall. Yeah, man, it's great advice. Yeah, and yeah, because because a lot of people who haven't started, and like I don't know if if someone watched my YouTube channel from six years ago, like I was all about starting the business, like trying to get people to like pursue this as a career and, and what i've realized like the older i've gotten is like if someone genuinely loves helping kids and they're not doing this as a career i genuinely believe that they're they're doing children in their area a disservice yep. because those kids could be getting better training from this coach that is afraid of like just going out to the park and running a session and seeing, seeing how it goes and just kind of just 1%, just take it step by step and, um, and then get it to a point where possibly they can do it full time or do things way beyond that. Um, yeah. and that's the other thing, like you don't have to, cause it could be very scary also to be like, Oh, like who's going to want to pay me, you know, mm -hmm. $50 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Start small then do, do a, like a clinic on a, on a Saturday or something, and or your, your local church or whatever, like, hey, listen, ten dollars a head. I'm gonna train right. for an hour and just and just try and see if you can actually like get the kids. Cause once you get your feet wet, you're like, oh wait, I can get confidence. <laughs> I can actually do this. Yeah. Then, then it'll be easier to to take that next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just start. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Just start. That's awesome, man. Great advice and. Um, I'm pumped for you coming up over the rest of this year and good That's stuff it. over the last, over the last month, man. It's, it's been awesome working with you. And, um, any, anything else you would say to coaches that are, that are watching this video before, before we head out? Um, just keep hustling, man. It's a, it's a, it's a grind. Um, but it's worth it. One in the financial sense, but like second, like coaching in any capacity is like to me one of the most fulfilling um careers out mm -hmm. there because every kid remembers their first like great mm -hmm. coach. Yep. And remembers them by name and remembers something they told them. So like it's like what you said, like those kids need you. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, like take the jump. Yeah. Yeah, take man. It's when you're talking about like first great coach, like I I was talking about one of my coaches that I had 18 years ago yesterday. And he always pops up in my mind. I always just like the little things he would tell me. Um, that dude changed my life, man. Like for real. And uh, so, yeah, the power of coaching. I mean, it's it's a really, really fulfilling thing. Um, and yeah, just take it one step at a time. Just, just like you're saying. Um, sure. awesome alberto well thanks so much man for for jumping on and um i'll be chatting with you soon all right brother thank you have a good one all right catch you there peace